There's nothing more important in this whole world than walking with God. Even ministering, even your workplace job, breathing, nothing is more important than your relationship with God. Walking with God is more important than building your life. (laughs) His presence is worth more than all the pleasures that you could ever collect over all of eternity. From this realm. I'd rather just sit in the presence of God and do nothing and try to conjure something up that will just end up being nothing anyway. <laughs> but that works. Holy. It's better to know the Spirit of God brooding through your very being than to hear someone talk about him that never leads you into an encounter. It's better to feast on the presence of the Lord and to attend millions of religious ceremonies and feast on death. It's better to sit in heavenly places in Christ than to attend the most (laughs) exciting carnivals that the world has to offer. (laughs) I prefer resting in the presence of the Lord than running a marathon of religious hoops I'd rather worship the Lord in spirit and in truth than attend choir practice every Sunday. better to know God as the spirit (laughs) than bow down to a statue and give it a bunch of change (laughs) (laughs) hallelujah Father, Jesus, when your home is filled with the glory of God, your house that surrounds your home will be filled with the glory of God. (laughs) When the temple of the Holy Spirit has living water flowing, (laughs) overflowing all the banks. (laughs) It will leak into your house (laughs) that holds the natural rain and sun elements at bay. better to put all your trust in the Lord than to put all your hope and desires in yourself and watch yourself fail 
because he never fails. <laughs> Love never fails. He never gives up. <laughs> oh, Shabbat. Let's see if I can fix this. There we go. <laughs> When the Lord is the strength of your life, <laughs> even your weakness is stronger than the strong, the strength of man. Because <laughs> in your weakness, He's made strong, and the weakness of the Lord is stronger than man. So it's easy to rest, to rest, rest from your labors. Rest from all the dead works. Rest and receive heaven's best. Rest in the Lord. He is your sword. Rest in God most high. He'll destroy every lie, every fly that buzzes in your ear when you're in rest. <laughs> It's almost like a test. How long can you stay gay? <laughs> Hallelujah. When you lose your life, his life becomes evident. <laughs> For his sake. You lose your life for righteousness sake. So it's no longer you living. But Christ living in you. The hope of glory. Yeah. We want to see that hope manifest. Okay. <laughs> All we got to do is just see. Stop striving in our own powerful ways <laughs> get into Yahweh the power that created the entire universe the angels he created everything invisible and visible all for his great pleasure I found one simple key if I could share one key if you ever watched all my videos and if you've gotten nothing from them or something from them, there's only one key that I can give you that is relevant. It unlocks everything else. Without this key, our lives are pretty much just like flipping a coin and hoping it works out. Give God what He wants. He is searching for worshipers who will worship Him in spirit and in truth. Give God what He wants and you realize everything that you've ever wanted is where you meet Him and that's His, He loves that place. Everything that God wants, <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> Your full surrender in, in worship so he can fill you with life more abundantly everything that you've ever desired is found in him not the imitation things like that we try to seek in the world it's just imitation it's not even it's not him <laughs> once you sit in the manifest presence of God you realize there's nothing else that can compare to that there's nothing else in this world that can compare to Him. The one who made all things is greater than all. And He's looking for one thing. He is seeking one thing. Worshippers who will worship Him in spirit and in truth. In Christ Jesus and the Holy Ghost just to meet with him 
in the spirit and connect heart to heart, spirit to spirit, soul to soul, body to body, the body of Christ. <laughs> he just wants to meet with you. Nothing any man can offer you but the man Christ Jesus who you step through and meet your father. The one who created all things. You just walk through the precious blood of Jesus, step through his wounds right into heaven. And there's your father waiting for you. As you worship him in spirit and in truth, you receive purpose. You receive the reason that you were even put here in the first place. To walk with him. Not just with him, but he walks in you. And he walks around you. He's your protector. He's your shield. He's your everything. And I would rather sit in his manifest presence doing absolutely nothing. Than a lifetime of productive. <laughs> oh, hold on. I think the door is here. Unproductive. So go worship God. Hallelujah.